Wow. Okay, so Dre and Michelle confirms her pregnancy. This is big news. Hey, fool. Yeah. She's half that fool's. She's double that fool's age. Not double, but double. Don't look at, she's she not don't double. Don't look like exactly, that. She's close to double. Right? Age. She look good. Drea, who's 39, and Rockets player Jalen Green, who's 22, have been dating since last year. This will be Drea's third child. She has a 22 year old son, um, <laughs> Nico, and an eight year old son, Drew. That's her son. Who she friend. shares with Orlando Scandrick. I remember that relationship. I didn't know she had a 22 year old son. Bad bitch. <laughs> YouTube, yo, let's get that react. We right back, man, with another installment. We got a hot video for you today, man. It's Hefe coming to you. We got Rome Q, Juju. We all here today, man. Yo, no jumper reacted to Dre and Michelle and Jalen Green being pregnant, man. I honestly, you know, it's a topic that's kind of, you know, she, she is a little older than yo, so mm. you know, see what's happening, man. We're going to dive into it, give y'all what we thinking about it as well, too. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the content, really help out the channel. Let's get it popping. Wow. Okay, so Dre and Michelle confirms her pregnancy. This is big news. Hey, fool. Yeah. She's half that fool's. She's double that fool's age. Not double, but double. Don't look at, she's she not don't double. She don't look exactly, like that. But she's close to double. Right? Age. She look good. Drea, who's 39, and Rockets player Jalen Green, who's 22, have been dating since last year. This will be Drea's third child. She has a 22-year-old son, um, <laughs> Nico, and an 8-year-old son, Drew. That's her son. Who she friend. shares with Orlando Scandrick. I remember that relationship. I didn't know she had a 22-year-old son. Bad bitch. I met her uh, like she 20 years, like not 20. Bitch. A oh, long time dang. ago, I met her at a King Magazine photo shoot. We I, were in the I same magazine. I remember that cover. I remember that cover she did. No, no, no. It wasn't her on the cover. I think it was not Nicki Minaj. It was Trina. And it was right before they stopped like releasing the issues, and okay. it was online, like in person, even better. She's been on the cover of. Uh, oh, she has yeah. probably. Yeah, I'm sure she's gorgeous. I mean, you look. You don't look 39, right? What does it matter? Getting 39. pregnant by someone your son's age is crazy as fuck. Some women she, like well, younger guys. Some women prefer old, older. She's gonna be sad as fuck when this fool finds a new boo. She getting paid. She don't give. She a might fuck. be on to the next one. She seems like the on to the next. I also girl. totally respect what you just said right now because that is very valid. She gonna be hella paid. Yeah. Off the fucking uh, what you call it? Support the child. Support. Who do you want her to date? She she she's gorgeous. I think she she's gonna to date basketball fuck players. With Chris Brown. And then yeah. you know, Orlando Scandrick, uh, when she was on Basketball Wise for the, those couple seasons. Who she was else was she with? You know, Andrea shit is the same as always. But listen, people get to talking and giving their opinions on Dre and shit. I feel like, bro, you got, I, I feel like, at least in my mind, when you get to the tax bracket there and when you're like working at the level they're working at, like in life, I, I'm not gonna say they abide by different rules, but you can't apply the mindset of like your mindset or the mindset of someone you know, a regular person, someone you know in our tech, like, they're working with a different mindset, a different worldview. She's not looking at it the same way you're looking at it. Jalen Green is, is, is accumulating experiences, is in a, is in a, at a level where he can do things that a regular person can't do. Not saying that what makes it okay, but I mean she's a she's a professional bird. She's a like being a scutterbutt is her profession. So like you gotta understand she's gonna move a certain way. So you feel me? Not even just to just to add on what you're saying. Um, I had seen her response as well, Drea's response as far as uh, she did some interview. I can't remember the female who interviewed her, but, um, you know, she was basically just asking their experiences as far as like the, you know, do you see yourself, you know, with this person? And the interview was referring to Jalen Green and she was like, uh, nah, like basically just pointing out the fact of like, you know, I'm really in tune to the whole motherhood aspect. And what she was saying was mm -hmm. like, you know, I believe that and this is her saying that she believes that two people can kind of just come together and co-parent like, hey, you want to go half in on the baby. And once somebody has that mindset, and that's basically to agree with what Lee was saying, because they're in a different tax bracket than we are. So as far as like the whole dynamic of having a kid, raising a kid, it's completely different to them. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, to, to the regular, you know, just nine to five person, it's different aspects yeah, that come into more, life you know what i'm saying so but for, you know what i'm saying yeah more responsibility but for them once you hit like you said that tax bracket is kind of just like basically like she, what she said as far as like how her way of thinking is like you want to go half in on the baby you got your bread i got my bread that i've been you know what i'm saying accumulating over this is a whole lot or, heavier you know, for someone basically them, yeah. but i think you know just as far as like how she said it you know like i said you know once she has that mindset in that tax bracket, of course, they're gonna have that way of thinking. But I don't, I don't, I don't honestly, I don't think I see an issue, you know, with it. You know, congratulations to them, I'll say. 
but I don't really think I see the uh, but yeah, uh, a true true issue. Not even just the tax bracket, but the culture, because you know it is reach like did that don't apply to every per- per- person. But like when you hear stories how these black basketball players operate, bro, and just when yeah. you're dealing with that type of bird, like you gotta understand, she's getting a different millionaire every other week to you know. To, to, to you know it, I mean it's just different bro it's a different culture different mindset a whole lot of people in this world like I said I, yeah I truly agree with y'all niggas cause it's just like it is what it is I mean you know what he getting into you know what I'm saying same situation like does it make it right does it make it wrong you know what I'm saying who are we to really even fucking say honestly but I mean it, it's you can't deny that like niggas like an older women, that's definitely something that happens. You know what I'm saying? Especially you in that type of like, so you in that type of uh, environment, you in that type of class where you getting these high level women or whatever, just in general. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like Shorty was saying, it's not like she don't look 39. You know what I'm saying? So niggas ain't looking at it like that. Like oh, I, you know I got this old whatever. But I mean, is it? Kind of predatory, yeah, yeah, yeah it kind of is. You know what I'm saying? He definitely, definitely got a son that's about the same age, so it is kind of weird. But once again, like, just it is what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, he, he got his own money. You know, she got her own money. Once again, like y'all said, if you're a regular person in that situation, you're probably looking at it real differently. But we can't look at them like that. So, it is what it is. Congratulations, man, Jalen. Um, <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Keep hooping. That's all I gotta yeah, say. Right. <laughs> you gonna, you gotta, you gonna have to yeah, keep you pooping, nigga. You you y'all y'all you seen, seen that? Uh, y'all yeah, seen that? Yeah, yeah, that's 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 that that slammer jammer. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, hey, 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 Lee. Hey. You, you know what we that's said? Lead, you know what I'm saying? When it came for you know us niggas, you know when when we start having kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Something, some. I know it didn't happen for DDG, but in, in the booth that is. But um, you get it. But um. <laughs> but uh, nah, you know how it is when, when niggas have oh, yeah. kids, man. Yeah, that daughter, that, man. that responsibility, man. And, and, and Fred Van Vliet on that team, he had that talk with him. Hey, hey, hey. Never had, yeah, he, yo, Fred, yeah. He, Honestly, yeah, that might. Should, hey, you, you know saw what, what I did you in this what? series, nigga. You know what? I had a kid. You know what Lee, happened? You just said something. That is the true reason that nigga, because he averaging what? This is this is this is year four. I think he averaging like 20, just under 20. Oh, yeah. It's time for that rookie extension. Nigga said he needs some motivation. That's exactly what this is. Yeah. Yep. Something he, to he pick the game having, up. Something to that pick 25. the game up. That's mm-hmm. going to give him that 25 a game, man. Listen, y'all let us know what y'all thinking about it, man. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the content. Really helps out the channel as well. We're going to catch y'all on that next one, man. Deuces up. Peace.